having the ability to be able to talk between containers uh, with inside of Docker Compose, or even if you've got a Docker Compose uh, service and you want to talk to it uh, from another uh, container that's not part of that one Docker Compose, is something that we're going to look at in this one video. Now, you'll be able to mix this all together uh, as well to use inside a Docker Compose file. So right now what we have inside this uh, development.yaml uh, file is basically a, uh, a MariaDB uh, container. Um, it's been initialized with a user of uh, uh, David Thorne and password and so on. And what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to create another container and to be able to communicate with this too. And this is done through uh, networking. All right, so let's just show here that we've got nothing up and running. And uh, let's just have a quick look at the networks. You see, there's this WordPress network, which is just another one, but otherwise we have no networks. This is not up and running. So to do this, we'll, we'll start uh, these containers first and we'll just say up uh, dash D. So now we can uh, see that this uh, container has started. All right, and we can see it's got a container name here. So we want to have another um, Debian server that can communicate with this MySQL server. In order to be able to do that, we have to be on the same network, all right, to have inter-container communication. And we know that our uh, YouTube DB11 is on uh, the network, right? So we can say um, Docker container inspect, and we can just give this name here. And we can see that it's, it's on the networks of YouTube local uh, dev, all right? So this is the network that we need to add it to. And we can see here it's on local dev, but it's got a prefix of YouTube uh, that we gave it here. So let's just say run uh, to create a new container in interactive mode. We're going to remove it once uh, we uh, kill the container. And um, we're going to uh, add it to uh, the, the network of YouTube local dev. And this is going to be a simple uh, Debian uh, uh, container. And we're going to enter it with the bash command. All right, so now we are here. And what we can do is uh, come out to another um, out to another uh, terminal to see that we now have this Debian here, right? And it's called Funny Easily. And we can say uh, Docker Network Inspect. And we'll, whoops, we want to say uh, YouTube uh, Local uh, Dev here. And you can see here that we have, uh, th this is now attached to that one uh, network, all right? And if we now say uh, Docker Container Inspect, and I've forgotten the name of it again. Whoops. Is uh, inter. Let's just have another look again. It's here, funny easily. All right. So, Docker container in uh, spec. This one here. We can see that it's on uh, this one a network with the IP address of 127.19.0.3. Okay. So, let's. Um, Let's remove these so we don't get confused. And we're inside this one container once again. So now we want to be able to talk to the uh, the MariaDB. So we're going to have to install some form of MariaDB client to talk to it. So the first of all, we're going to update uh, apt, and then we can say doc, uh, sorry, apt install uh, MariaDB uh, and uh, clients. That's going to say, do we want to do it? Yes, we do. <clears throat> and now uh, we are able to uh, basically say MariaDB. And you can see here, cannot connect to local server because we don't have MariaDB installed. So we have to then say MariaDB and the host. This is where it gets interesting, right? You would expect the host to be this YouTube underscore DB1 dash one, but it's not. It's actually the container name itself. And we're going to say user is then root. Password dash p one two three four five six and boom there we are in uh, this container all right and we can exit out of this as well and we can say user uh, David Thorne and dash p one two three four five six show databases there and so now we are in um, we, we've now connected to the the MariaDB uh, database from another container so let's now come out 
And when we say docker ps-a, we can see that we just have one uh, container open. Now, if you wanted to add this uh, to, your, uh, uh, to your file as well, you could do this and we'll just say uh, deb here, for example, and we'll say image uh, Debian, uh, uh, Debian when I can type properly, uh, latest and uh, networks is going to be uh, the uh, local uh, dev, right? Um, and yeah, we can we can say uh, depends on also, and uh, this is then going to be db one. And potentially, I should bring it all down first. So we're just going to cut and put, oh, going to remove this and say docker compose dash f and uh, development and we'll say down and dash v and that will bring it all down let's just make sure we are actually all gone docker network ls that's gone docker volume ls that's all gone too so now we can uh, paste this back in and say docker compose uh, dash f to say the file that we're going to use and then up dash d so my mistake is depends on uh, this way around. So let's just do that again. And now you can see that we have uh, started everything. So our MariaDB uh, started first because this depends upon it. And then our uh, deb one started. So we can say here dash p, uh, 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 ps uh, dash a, sorry. And we can see that, let me move this across. We can see that they are both uh, running. So we can come into uh, our deb one, let's just call it, and say execute it, and then just say uh, bash. Oh, okay, of course, obviously it, it execute uh, exited. Um, this would be normal because we didn't tell it a, a service to actually uh, run. My mistake. But um, you you understand the point. If you need a, a service to to be running, you need it to be listening uh, on something. But this would then be uh, how. Uh, how you would get it up and running you would need like a php server or an nginx server or, or a node.js server or something running on here but this is will be how you would then uh, have the ability to, to communicate uh, between each other remember intercommunication intercontainer communication always goes based upon the container name and uh this one uh, with inside of that one network has the actual host name of uh, DB1, all right? The container name is something else, but the host name is then uh, DB1. If you added the container name, it would take over that as well, all right? With that said, I hope this has um, been uh, help to you um, to understand how you can communicate uh, through, uh, through the network layer with uh, Docker, because this is nothing to do with Docker Compose, it's to do with Docker and the uh, network itself. We don't need Docker Compose in this situation. We could just run all of these commands purely with Docker, uh, run and start these containers and then add them or remove them to the network as we go along to be able to talk uh, with uh, one another. With that said, I hope that you've got something out of this video. If you did, then uh, don't forget to give it a like. If you think that other people uh, might find this video useful as well, why not think about sharing it? And uh, if you want to see more videos that I uh, create or I publish to uh, YouTube, uh, don't forget that I make a broad different amount of uh, videos programming YouTube, uh, sorry, uh, videos talking about my life in Germany or uh, drone videos, uh, a lot more than that. So don't be surprised if you see a different topic than uh, of uh, Docker or uh, programming or something like that. If this is your, th if it's, if this is your thing, uh, then uh, yeah, think about subscribing. Otherwise you, you're already doing the thing that I uh, ask you uh, to do is watch all the way through to the end. With that said, if you've got any questions, feedback, concerns, then uh, let's start a conversation in the comment section down below. If I can answer your question, I will. If I can't, uh, then I will try a chat GPT. Uh, otherwise, if I think the video warrants a other question warrants another video, I will make another video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is David Thorne. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.